When a show scores a smashing success in the capitals of Europe, American theatrical producers usually book fast passages across the Atlantic to be first with a contract to produce it here. But when Yankee theater men sought to carry off Eric Shirell's production of White Horse Inn, they t took one look at the production costs necessary to stage this extravaganza and then caught the first boat home without it. Finally, Eric Shirell took the chance that America would like the musical hit as well as Berlin, London, Vienna, Paris, Rome, and other capitals had. Now America is viewing it in Mr. Shirell's breathtaking production, currently housed in Radio City's center theater, and box office receipts are justifying the $300,000 production cost. In the studios this afternoon, we have, from White Horse Inn, the stars, William Gaxton and Kitty Carlisle, together with Robert Halliday, the tenor, William House, the jovial comedian, Madame Reverelli, the Tyrolean yodeler, the singing chorus, and the Tyrolean slap dancers. Even this represents only a part of the company of 300, with Richard Barabali wielding the baton. The Magic Key of RCA presents these artists in excerpts from this amazing musical extravaganza. Imagine, if you will, by the Silver Lake nestling at the foot of the snowy Tyrolean Alps, the famous White Horse Inn, the church of St. Wolfgang, and the charming little houses in the village. From afar comes the happy yodeling of a Tyrolean milkmaid. Young American lawyer Donald Hutton of Hutton, Hutton, Button and Hutton, sung by Robert Halliday, meets Katarina, the pretty proprietor of the White Horse Inn, played and sung by Kitty Carlisle. When the judge is on a put his town away, then I told myself I say it's time to play. When I have earned a handsome fee, some tourist agency takes it from me. The white horse in on the silver lake, where romance waits at the door, with oath and arms will receive me, while all of my care seem to leave me. To share its peace, to live at last.
Leopold, the head waiter of the White Horse Inn, declares his love for Katarina. William Gaxton as Leopold and Kitty Carlisle as Katarina. Ah, oh, Katarina, you're beautiful. You're lovely to look at. Let me tell you of my love. I forbid you. You must stay, and I must have my say. I'll hold you near me while you hear me. And you see, a secret burns in me. And you alone can set it free. I cannot live without your love, though I'm not worthy of you. I'm reaching for the skies above, yet it's true, I care to love you. I cannot live and still forget you. I bless the day I met you, and now I pray you can see, you can be life itself to me. the big ensemble scene, introducing the singing chorus and the famous Tyrolean slap dancers. The scene opens with William McGonagall, American bathing suit king and inventor of Lady Godiva suits, ordering breakfast. Played by the rotund comedian William House, McGonagall has come to the Tyrol from Brooklyn. He is now attired in native costume, short leather pants, embroidered suspenders, and a feather in his Tyrolean hat. Where's my breakfast? What a hotel, what a country. Always grumbling, always complaining. I'd like to take you in hand. I know I could make you happy.
how can this be any fun for you? Come home with me and you will see why Columbus sailed the ocean blue. Russians and Turks, Romans and McGurk, they all sing my country tis of thee. And though they cry, taxes are high, that is where they want to be. Your lost mountain air gets in my hair all the while. Give me Coney Isle down the bay. The tunnels are dark in Luna Park, it's immense. If you have ten cents, you're okay. The whole day you stand, never room to lie on the sand. But you think it's grand, but you give it a trial. The ocean like blue may stick to you, don't mind that. No one's ever swimming at Mr. Jackson. Thank you very much, folks. Thank you. I'm glad you seem to enjoy our efforts today, and I would like to take this opportunity to convey to all the people of America the thanks of Mr. Eric Carell for the enthusiastic reception you've given to the White Horse Inn. <laughs>